Hey Facebook, you're watching Life with Annie. I'm Annie and this is my life. Today I just, just want to take a, a couple of minutes just to show you one more Halloween craft you can do outside uh, to decorate for all the kids in your neighborhood. And all you're going to need for that particular decoration are two things. And let me just, you need this and a permanent marker one of the chubbier ones but you can use a small one if you don't have it and this is just a white um, beach ball I did have to order these online um, but they came pretty quick so even if you don't get around doing it this year something I thought was really cute I'd never seen it before so what we did was there's no way that we could blow these up by mouth so we bought a bicycle pump and blew up the beach balls and then we took a white I mean a black permanent marker and we drew a little circle down where the there's a little circle on the bottom of a beach ball we just filled in that circle and this is what we got and cameraman Matt's going to pan over to these two eyeballs that are staring off we just kind of positioned them in this tree um, if you have other bushes, you can put them anywhere. You can put them on the edge of your deck. Um, you can hang them from bushes, uh, off your garage door. You can do your whole front lawn, you know, if you have a row of bushes around the front of your house, you can just put a set of eyeballs. And you can always change them up, put some eyelashes, some eyebrows, make the eyes go a different direction. But I just thought that was cute. I had never seen that before. And I just thought, what a neat idea if you have trick-or-treaters come and you have all these eyes in all your different bushes and trees and wherever you want to put them. We just did uh, two sets of eyes for this demonstration. And we've got one other set over here. Let me get out of the jungle. <laughs> and that's Thunder over barking, if you can hear him, in the background. And we put another set in this tree. Now, I did... Um, get some twine and a pair of scissors and on the back of the beach ball is a little where you blow it up and the little stopper that goes in there it makes like a little hook and you can thread your string or twine or whatever you're going to use in that and you can tie them on we're not going to leave these out here so we just we were you know we're just going to set them in here just to show you what they look like we're going to take them back in and maybe uh, a couple days before Halloween, we'll we'll put them back out. But um, just Google um, white beach balls if you're interested in doing this this year or for next year. And you know, I I think we went to Amazon. I, I don't remember. I've got my envelope over there that tells us we only ordered eight. Um, the particular site we went to, you could order individuals. Some of them you had to order bulk, but we didn't want a lot of white beach balls. And then you can just deflate them. At the end of Halloween and flatten them down put them in a bag store them up with your Halloween decorations and use them next year but I thought it was really neat I, I had not seen this decoration idea before so I just wanted to share it with you a lot of you may have seen it but it was new for me and I guess that's it I just wanted to give you a little Halloween treat this weekend to work on or think about for the future so I'm going to go see what Thunder's back there howling at. And uh, hope you have a great night, great Sunday tomorrow, and we'll see you soon. Bye.